Hi students, coming to the fourth layer that is the transport layer in OSA reference model. So the name itself is indicating that we are transporting the information. We are sending from source to destination. So everyone is sending, the network is sending, the data link layer and everything is sending the information. Then what about this transport? So this transport layer, it decides if data transmission should be parallel or a single path. So the first thing is the transport layer, it is deciding the data transmission should be traveled in a parallel path or in a single path. Traveling the data in a single or a parallel. And this is the one function that it is doing. And next, the functions such as multiplexing, segmenting, splitting on the data are done by this layer. Okay. Multiplexing means the combining or splitting means the dividing of on data or done by this layer. So this layer is not only transmitting, selecting the path and also it is doing the work of multiplexing and splitting on data. And next what it is doing? It provides additional quality of service. Provides additional quality of service. Okay. And next. It receives message from session layer. So from session layer means the top layer that is present uh, above that here one this is. Suppose let us take this is the network and above that the transport and above that session is there. So it receives a message from session layer and converts that message into smaller units and it passes it to the network layer. So take large data. And splits, splits the data into small units and transmit to network layer. So it takes the large data from session layer and splits the data into small units and pass into the network layer. So it is doing the work of converting the message to message to smaller units okay and next it is responsible for end-to-end -end delivery of complete message responsible for end-to-end -end delivery of complete message so this is doing so many uh, functions means it, it decides in the whether we have to send the data parallel or single path and it also selecting uh, it is multiplexing and splitting the data and also it provides the quality of service and it converting the message to smaller units and it is responsible for to end to end delivery so these many functions it is doing the uh, this transport layer is doing so that's why we call it as a heart of OSI model. So this transport layer we call it as a heart of OSI model. Now let us see the, the services that are provided in the OSI layer. Services provided by sorry transport layer. The different services that it provides uh, of first is connection oriented connection oriented service and next connection less service so these are the two services that it is provided the connection oriented can be uh, done in three methods first it is establishing establishing the connection after establishing data has to be transferred 
okay once we establish the connection so there is a connection between one layer to the another layer and the same time from one host to the another host so after that the data has to be transferred after transferring the data it has to be disconnected so that is a connection oriented means it is operated in three phases so whereas connection less it is having only one phase what is that one phase? That one phase is the just data transfer. The connection uh, co uh, connectionless service is no need to establish the connection. Okay, no need to disconnect the connection. Whenever the data is there, you just simply transfer the data. So that's why it is very fast data transfer. Very fast data transfer will be take place in connectionless services. And this transport layer is mainly it is operated. It is operated by operating system. So, I already said the, the transport layer and the session layer and the application and the presentation layers are comes under the software. So, that's why uh, this uh, transport layer is operated based on the operating system. In the help of operating system, it will be operated. Thank you.